Buck just got here for his dinner. Boy, he heard me. He was hanging out right below the hill, just walking around. I filled up his buckets and then I seen him come up. Right? You ready for dinner? Now he's just inspecting to make sure it's just me and him. It's just me and you. Everybody's outside and there goes that whistle pole. This pole, I swear, if you guys hear a whistle, you see? When I move, if I move the floor, the stones here, for some reason it makes this whistle. So funny. Is it funny, Buck? Yeah, baby, I got your grapes. I know, are you excited? Nobody's here, it's only me and you. Not even Thumper is here, nobody. My father-in-law said he's seeing Thumper on our property yesterday, like hopping around. Cause I told him, I said, I didn't see Thumper. Are you checking your buckets? Where are you going? Where are you going? Your buckets are good. Everything's filled up. He's checking his buckets. See? You okay? Come here. Come here, my big boy. You want apples? Instead? You want apples? You want me to dump it in your bucket? Is that going to make you happier? Okay. Come on. He has his mind on the corn, you see? Okay. I've been also dumping the fruit in his bucket a lot too, just in case if one day I can't feed him and my husband has to come out and feed him, it'll be easier. You know, he's not expecting to be hand fed all the time. So I started actually pouring the fruit in his bowl in the bucket so he doesn't always get used to me hand feeding him too. But now he wanted everything in the bucket. Oh, there goes the whistle again. <laughs> this pole, I swear, makes me laugh. Every time I sit down, it whistles. <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. Now he's going to eat his apples. I put grapes and apples. Oh, he's eating, it looks like the grapes and the apples. And I can't believe today, he looks like even darker. Like the winter coat is coming in even more. Right now it's cloudy out. It's been cloudy all day by me here today, all day. But I can't complain because you know, it's not raining and it's not too muggy out. It's a little bit muggy, but not too muggy. Like there's kind of like a little breeze that goes by us every now and then. So that's good. Cause it's not like too warm out. Cause usually on cloudy days when it's gonna rain, it becomes like, you know, like muggy out. Now Buck's eating his dinner. I came out at five to feed him. I figure I feed him a little earlier because I don't want to push. Oh, I see Thumper. Thumper's on his way, guys. Look. Thumper's on his way right there at the hill. See? Thumper's coming. Look at Thumper. Thumper's coming. Thumper's on his way. Like he's running here. I threw corn on the floor for Thumper already. So we're going to see Thumper popping up any minute. Any minute Thumper's going to be popping up. Let's see. Oh my God, I hear Thumper running. How cute. We're gonna see Thumper, guys, any minute. Thumper's coming. I see Thumper. And that pole with the whistle, it drives me nuts. <laughs> I think I told my husband to like cover this hole because <laughs> it has a hole so it, whatever it like moves close by it, it whistles. Hi, Thumper. Okay, I see Thumper down the hill right now hopping. Okay, I'm sure Thumper's gonna be coming by because Thumper's there. Thumper, you want corn? You want corn? Come here. Thumper's down the hill right now. Thumper will be popping up any minute. Because once Thumper, it looks like once he heard me, he popped up. So Thumper will be popping up soon. I know, that's the whistle. That's the pole buck. I think I just got bit on my leg. You know, I don't understand. You can wear long sleeves, long pants, socks. You can wear all that. And for some reason, the mosquitoes, they bite you right on top of your clothes. I mean, I'm wearing thin clothes. Maybe that's why they're not thick like winter clothes, you know, because it's too hot to wear thick winter clothes. But I feel like this whole summer, I've been wearing long sleeves and long pants coming here, you know, like I'm dying to wear shorts and just come here with a short sleeve shirt and comfortable short pants. But you can't because you'll get eaten alive. Okay, let's see if we see Thumper popping up on the hill. You eat all your stuff? Good boy. There's no more noise, Buck. I don't hear no more noise. So that's a good thing. 
I don't hear no, no construction noise being done from the house next door, so they must have left. That's why I like for dinner time, I know that the most peaceful for him is dinner time, right? That's when it's mostly quiet out here and he like hangs out nice. That's why I think he's trying to listen to see if he hears anything. You're okay, it's only me and you. It's okay. You're okay, big boy. You're okay. Tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment in the morning, so I'm gonna have to delay Buck's breakfast video till I get back, because there's gonna be no way I'm gonna be able to feed him before the doctor's appointment. So I'll feed Buck once I get back, right? I feed you once I get back, my big boy. Go your corn, okay. He's probably looking to make sure I was still here, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he went back to eating the corn. He must have ate all the fruits in there. Cause now I see him crunching. So all the grapes and apples he ate already. You ate that fast, wow. And I cut up two apples nicely, sliced. And I gave him a stem of grapes, plus loose grapes. <laughs> Tomorrow for dinner, I'm gonna give him blueberries instead of grapes. I wanna switch it up. And then this weekend, I go grocery shopping and I buy more apples and more stuff. Right, Buck? We gotta get you more peanuts, more apples. And now he's probably just gonna go foraging and stay close by. That's what he usually does. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. That's because behind my phone I have, you know that circle thing that you hold on to? I, I don't know what they're called. Pods? Pops? Pops? Pods? I don't know. It's like behind the phone. Again, with that whistle. I, I swear this pole is driving me nuts. And I, me and my husband, we try to pull it out. It's so jammed in between the fence and in the dirt that it's hard to take this pole out. But I can't stand it because it whistles. Every time you move, like the fence, it whistles. Oh, look at Thumper. I told you guys, Thumper came up the hill. Look at Thumper, right there. Hi, Thumper. Yeah, I poured all corn there, baby. I poured all the corn, like, I put like a scoop of little, uh, like a handful of corn right in the spot where Thumper is. Cause I figured Buck is not gonna bother him if he goes there and eats it. Hi, Thumper, you showed up, my baby. You showed up. And now Buck is probably gonna go use the bathroom because sometimes that's what he does once he's done eating. Yep, he's walking to the hay pile. I swear the hay pile is like his wee-wee pad. It became like, it's like a wee-wee pad. You know what's funny? Because hay piles, farm animals, they usually what? They lay on it, they'll eat it, right? Like farm animals, not woodsy animals. <laughs> woodsy animals, they use it as like a wee-wee pad. Seriously. I remember when me and my husband threw the hay pile over here close to the fence because we thought that he would lay on it, you know? He does lay close by the hay pile, but I notice he uses the hay pile more for using the bathroom than actually laying on it, you know, or trying to eat it. <laughs> so I don't think deers care too much about hay. They're not like a farm animal, you know, like where they would care. Right, big boy? You forging? He's trying to get the leaves that are sticking out in between over there. I'm still here. I didn't leave you. I feel like he always looks to check if I'm here. I'm still here, big boy. I can't believe the raccoons. They had to, it had to have been the raccoons because I, either they chewed it up or broke that, but I have another one to replace that one. I'm just waiting for a nice sunny day to like motivate me to like, you know, replace that one. Which like today's, like on a cloudy day, it makes me so mushy. Like I don't want to do much. <laughs> Besides like, you know, being with him, that's different. <laughs> right, Buck? That, I don't care how the weather is and how mushy I feel. I always come out to be with him. <laughs> he just brings so much peace to my life. He really does. Like hanging out with him is just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's like an awesome feeling hanging out with him, you know? 
and he's not like a type of animal that makes any type of noise you know unless it's Doran Rutt I noticed because last year Doran Rutt he did grunt at me he did like grunts at me I don't know what he was trying to tell me I have a video posted I think you would guys would have to look back way back in my videos like last year around that was October November at that time he was walking up to me like over here and like grunting at me but it wasn't like a mean grunt like not a grunt like I don't know how to explain it like he made sounds you know he made a sound that I was like what the heck I was like you never did that before but he was he was behaving he wasn't acting like you know bad or anything but I know he he could get feisty like during rut where he starts to get into zoomies it's so cute so far that's the only thing I've witnessed him do right my big boy he just get the zoomies he starts running around like a maniac in there in the forest running around like a maniac and you literally like I could just sit here and I'll hear him running around the whole forest because you could just it's so cute but I'm hoping this year I get that on video last year I might have got it on video I don't remember I have to look back on my iPad because my iPad I have all the old videos of him like from the beginning beginning and my phone I have all the new videos of him from like you know the recents But I held on to all like the first two years of him coming. Those videos I always hold on to. And I love posting on YouTube too because I feel like it kind of like, it's like a little like, you know, like, um, how do you say it? Like, it stores the videos for me where I can always go back and watch them. I love that. Right, Buck? Right, maybe boy, it's okay. He's probably listening to that the plane that's a plane flying right over us okay and he's just hanging out he's just hanging out he's just hanging out big boy And Thumper's over there still eating. Yeah, you see Thumper is right there. So cute with his little cheeks. He probably has his cheeks full of corn right now. So Thumper did come today for dinner. That's good. I think it's because Thumper heard me. Because the days that I come here that I don't have to call Buck, like scream Buck's name. I feel like Thumper probably doesn't even know I'm here, probably. And that's probably why he doesn't show up. So I, sh I should start screaming Thumper's name when I get to the spot, just to see if he actually pops up, you know? You never know. That would be cute. Like if I scream Thumper's name and call him and then I see him hopping over, that would be the cutest thing. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll try it. If he doesn't pop up like, you know, on his own. <laughs> Cause I feel like Thumper is smart in his own ways too. Right Buck? You guys are all smart in your own ways. Like Buck knows the times. And that amazes me how he pops up every day at the right times, you know? It's crazy how they know that. I wonder if they pay attention to like the sun going down or the sun setting, like, you know, like for the times to know what time it is. And he's gonna go back to Eden. <laughs> yeah, once he figures out that there's nobody out here but me and him, he's gonna eat nice and relax. He'll take his time eating. He'll come over by me and give me kisses. Buck, just the only way he'll act like that is he has to know it's just me and him outside. Even if my father-in-law is outside, that's fine. As long as it's not too much construction noise and it's not too noisy, Buck does not like too much noise. I don't think any deer is like too much noise because their ears probably hear like 10, 20 times stronger than us, I could imagine. So that's probably why he does not like the noise from the construction. Right, big boy? The construction noise is annoying. I know. Mommy thinks it's annoying too. I hear it sometimes from inside the house. Unless I have my AC on, then I won't hear it. But I can imagine Buck, because when they do construction next door, it echoes like into this forest sometimes, like in the beginning, like over here, like in the front of the forest, not probably all the way down there, no. Right, big boy? So that could be annoying, I could imagine. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Alright guys, 
I'm going to end this video because I actually brought bread. I have a bag of bread with me over here for the birds and the squirrels because they love the bread for some reason. And I always give them bread with seeds, so I make it a little bit more exciting for them. So I'm going to break up the bread now for them. And maybe Buck will probably eat a few pieces. I don't know. Let's see. Or well, he might be full. <laughs> I don't know. The bread now, he eats a once in a blue. Like, even if I throw bread every day for the birds and the squirrels, he sometimes won't even touch the bread. Just because he'll be so full from all the goodies that I give him. <laughs> right? I don't blame you because you eat the good stuff. So you're like, ah, I don't need the bread. All right, everyone. I will be back tomorrow morning. Like, probably around like 11 a.m. morning because my appointment is at 10 a.m., which sucks. It's actually on Buck's, you know, schedule time, Eden. So what I might do is right before I leave to go to my appointment, I might put the water and the corn in his bucket so he could at least have that till I get back. And then I'll call him, I'll call him over once I get back. So he could have the apples and the peanuts and all the good stuff. Right, Buck? That's what we're gonna have to do, big boy. But he's smart. He'll come once I call him. Sometimes he takes a little longer. It depends if there's too much noise, but most of the time he comes quick. Right? Right, you come quick, my big boy. And he's gonna go back, you see? This is what he does. He'll just hang out a little bit, and then every now and then he'll go back. And before you know it, that bucket will be all cleaned up. There'll be no more corn in there. Right? And then your belly will be nice and full. <laughs> right, everyone. So I'll be back tomorrow morning, not too early in the morning, of course, because I get done and everything. But when I get back, I'll make the video for Buck's breakfast. I hope everybody has a great night. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And to all my subscribers that did subscribe, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And me and Buck, we will be back tomorrow. Ciao for now.